staan. Kadai! <laughs> Can you see us yet? Today I am in May Soy. And I think I just crossed the border. Hang on, Walking Street. Okay, maybe I haven't crossed the border into Miramar of Burma. Now I think this is a border town. Um, I just there is an immigration office just where I now came in. <laughs> oh, there's all sorts of tour here. This is definitely a border town. There's got to be so much tut ah oh man so here's where i am today as i will be starting my vlogs about the golden triangle which is on this road today i'm gonna do today and then tomorrow so i've come to may soy i will now be turning left to go along the burmese border before i reach the lao border and I will try and film as much of it as I can. I will. So here we are. In. Another border town, I guess. And there is a second friendship bridge here where I have been earlier, but I couldn't. That was it. I, I just had to be told that I had to turn around. I am, I'm just coming to the end of this monkey island here on the left. Oh man, the disgusting sewage outlet on the left, which I will not film. But I come into this town because I saw the amazing mountains along the left hand side, just up there. Look, it's really cool. Ah man, yes, so I am heading into these mountains just so i can have a little look because i think these are the ones we're going to head into tomorrow not the old big buddha look up there but they looked like there was a whole village up in the mountains i saw uh, on the way into may soy okay. right i think that's more or less the end of this village road so i will i'll trek back oh, man. I left early this morning about nine. I can't leave too early because it's really cold. And it still is really cold. Ten past ten. So it doesn't take long to get her. About an hour. Oh, man. Let me see what's up here. Well, it was a proper like old Chinatown. Obviously this part of Thailand was originally occupied by China. They all moved in. So where have I come to here? There are old Chinese buildings there on the left. Oh man, there's a little road at the back. Okay, there's an army geezer there. Well, fucking hell. The northern, oh right. <laughs> well, I'm so glad I stopped. <laughs> so glad I stopped and come up here. Because that's got to be quite significant, right? <laughs> the northernmost point of Thailand is right here. And I wouldn't have made it. I would have been at like... 200 meters away from the most northerly part of thailand if i didn't push on oh, i'm really chuffed i did oh man sweaty cap sweaty cap as we see it's lovely river <laughs> it's mud banks oh oh he's fishing no oh, boy's fishing oh he's in oh look at that man he's got a little catfish oh he's got his dinner Catfish, well done. Cup on cap. <laughs> oh man, he's got his food here. Look, that's all fish bait, all of it, all paste for food, fish bait. Man, crazy. Crazy. So here we are. The river looked all right, didn't it? It does. Oh man. It's really low at the moment. I say Chiang Rai, Thailand. Okay, there's a bit of smoke, bit of burning. Village life is just waking up. You know what? I'm going to continue and explore this little village. Cool. Just only, only a couple of hundred meters upstream. 
Song guy over there under that tree doing a bit of fishing. Guy down here also doing a bit of fishing or collecting shells of some sort. Or oh, just tipping stuff in the river. No oh, shit, I don't know. That does look cool, man. It's wicked little houses along here. Man, they just look so cool with the sun's hitting them. And the road goes up along th there, so I may go along this road, but it also goes up there. Where well, I might have a little go up there as well. It is wicked. Oh man, it is wicked. Early morning waking up in May Psy. Disappointingly so, both those little roads didn't actually go anywhere other than to two private residents. But I have been exploring, I have been adventuring out, I have had a little ride about. Still cold. And I am up in the hills and look who I found. Look, you can actually drive right up. Just park over there. That's what he kept. He's got his leaf blower. Uh, he's off gonna blow some leaves. Ah, there we go, leaf blower man. If it ain't an angle grinder, it's a monk with a leaf blower, or a hedge strimmer, or a grass cutter. Oh, man, but wicked, look at the size of the big Buddha. And that is not actually white, that's, um, he's iridescent, mother of pearl white. So he really is, that all the greens and the purples and pinks will be uh, shadowing off of him. An iridescent Buddha, big Buddha, looking down upon me. He is, he's looking straight at me. Thinking you cheeky. Anyway, so I'm up here. Um, oh man, I booked the hotel for tonight because I knew that I'd be on a bit of a long day today. And I also booked it for tomorrow night because the bed is really comfy. And where I'm staying at the hotel, I, will, I might do a little feature around there because it's really cool. It's like, um, it's the first, it's like staying in a hostel almost, but everyone's got their own rooms. There's different types of rooms. There's even bungalows and there's a pool. And the English and the Germans tend to congregate round the pool of an afternoon and an evening, drinking beer and smoking weed. And it's good, it's good, it's a good atmosphere. I met some couple of friends. I actually met a couple last night who, who are staying in the room next to me, who I actually met in May Searang, uh, where we were drinking in that really cool bar together. Um, so it's really cool, you know, lots of people doing lots lots of similar stuff. But while I'm stalling, the view, I'm just looking around because the view from here is just superb. It is. It's pucker. It is pucker. Now you have got a Buddha in there. There's a bit of string, I don't know what that's all about. It's a black one. Black and gold Buddha. Black Buddha. The old monk is clearing up, look, the two dogs. Carrying a bit of leaf for him, trying to help, look. He's like, fuck off out me way. And that is really cool. And you have a seating area all around. But look, there's fucking hell, man. Oh, it's really high. There's where I've just come from, you know, just there. And that's the house there was private on the tall road. And the one up there was as far as I could get, just up there on the right. But, oh man, wicked. It's just a wicked view. I didn't know this would be a, a view spot. I didn't know you could get to the Buddha. I just uh, found the turn and to it um, as I was just riding about. But it's wicked. And I have got some kind of weird vertigo. And I did see little Holland. Can you see over there? There's like little Holland. There's a church looking thing, blue, turquoise, uh, windmill, and some little Dutch houses. Right there, I, I even see that on that raised bit of green, um, which I did see, and I will try to get there next. That's where I'll go, but as you can see, May, Sai, it's a pretty big city, and it's pretty cool as well. I mean, that is an awesome city set. Oh man, in this valley. I've got to go, and there's a river as well. I'll have to go and find out what that is over there. Because um, I'll be making this, like I said, I didn't expect I'll be making this a vlog here. Just really didn't know what to expect. And you see there's a wicked temple all over there. 
um, as well being landscaped. Wicked place, man. Wicked place. Oh, and there's three lady monks there as well. Look, just um, doing any decorative stuff. But that is a wicked monk. It's a shame about this tree. Maybe the sh tree has given him shade. But it's, just, it's cool being up here. I recommend a visit to me, say. I was, when I looked at uh, booking.com, I thought about uh, checking out and staying there overnight and doing the golden triangle in two loops. But he's not got a bad job. Can't pull him. He's got his little, little bicycle there, look. Wicked spot to chill out there. Really is. Let's see what's over on the other side. I suppose to ring all these. <laughs> dosh, 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 bosh, bosh. I can hear his wind catcher, his wind chimes. Okay, so not much to see. Nice, nice little condo block there, look. Wicked, wicked. Right. Oh man, it is. It's just look, turn around. The view is just really cool, man. There's probably one monk, three lady monks. He's got a, he's got all right place to stay. Okay, on my way to the windmill. Guy there having a bit of a fish downstream. I reckon the river must be full of fish. There's an army tent here, look, is that his billet guy here? That's what he kept, good. Good, on his phone, doing his job. Like I say, right on the border. But that's not what I stopped. I always like to build up. This is what I stopped for. Um, I see the I see the big cocks on the top there. And I thought, oh, you know. And then I saw the skull. And I saw a form, few more little bits and pieces. A little bit of collectible bottles there, look. A couple of crates of all them different branded bottles in there. Oh man. Anyway, there's a bit of a workshop going on in here. I made that really old face mask, man. And then painting's wicked. Telling a story. Okay. Buddha, Buddha on the horse with the arrow falling in the tree. Oh, there's also, that's the complete story of Buddha there, I think. Um, but what, what I'm, I haven't asked this lady, I asked if I can film. Hang on, before I go in, because I went in. I asked, can I, can I film? Yeah, it's okay? Yeah, yeah okay. She's got like all these wicked antiquities. It's what he kept. Oh. It's okay? No, no. Huh? No, no. Can. <laughs> Oh, she's, uh, I'm not sure she said I can or I cannot. <laughs> it's okay to take picture? It's just got a wicked start. It's, it's okay? <laughs> a proper tie. Look at these. Oh, mate, would they not make a wicked chess set? If it is not a chess set, man, they are awesome looking pieces. Oh, they would make a wicked. They've got to be Chinese. Right, and that's probably, it could be bone, could be tusk. Um, but she won't sell me anything. I said, I did come in. Are these, can sell? Can sell, check bin? No? She won't sell them, they, I'd buy all them, they're wicked. They're really cool. But the stuff, I said, just look at this chair. Oh man, this like I say, it may be Burmese, right on the border of all these jewels. This thing, it's just wicked to see all this really old gear in this collection. And the one thing I ask, you've got coins, got all sorts, amulets, oh, everything. Oh man, even those. Uh, they, they look the real legit bit. And then what I really wanted to, I asked her, look, I found all these bone things. What they make, what the Indians make the brace, body brace with. There's loads of them. But guess what? She won't sell me them. No. And look at all the military kiddies uniform. Man, that just knocked me back when I saw everything in it. I thought, wow, it's wicked. 
Wicked. Oh man. Are they wooden marbles? No, it's just more old ancient beads. And that. Oh man, they're just the ceramics. It's just really cool stuff that I know we see loads and loads of Thailand toot, but not quite so cool as this. Oh, this was it. The opium pipe's in the bottom there. That was it. Uh, no, she won't sell me an opium pipe either. Um, man. Wooden. That's wicked good. Kapo, Kapo and Cab. Thank you. Bye bye. So I thought I'd just bring that little. Oh, I thought I'd bring that in because that was really, really awesome gear. Hmm, disappointed. I wanted all those little bone things. I did. I did. And a few other bits and pieces. But anyway, let's go and find the windmill. At last, the day. Oh. Shut up. The day is warming up and um, I did not find the blue windmill so I've made my way to the next destination um, and over there we've got the Antara Golden Triangle Elephant Camp and Resort so I won't be going in there but I imagine that's probably pretty wild but on the other side of the road I saw the International Narcotics Control College it's okay? okay security said I could go in <laughs> I just want to have a look because it, it, it took my eye out uh, when you're driving along the road on the right hand side you see a great big lump of stone that says opium man that's quite mad I thought it was quite mad right there opium the golden triangle park hall of opium oh, that's, I, don't know. I don't know what we'll see but it's closed at the moment I was good at the security guard to let me in. Oh man, so I just wanted to have a little look at this beautiful lake. Not going to walk far, just to look at that. <laughs> Opium. O-P-I-U-M. Can you imagine? I think some traveller in Norwich has got a pond. <laughs> maybe not a traveller, maybe a, I don't know. Uh, can you imagine a landscape pond? Wicked. Opium. Uh, hedgerow that would be quite good if i get a house i might have to when i build a hedgerow i'll get a load of conifers see if i can cut opium <laughs> into it but also on there it's a nice little pond with a few lilies and i'm i'm cheng cn set in cheng sean is where i'm now going to the opium museum and now I think I've not gone to the place where I really wanted to go, so I'll do that tomorrow. That water's not bad, that's fairly clear, which is surprisingly so. Oh man, wicked, it's just nice seeing the lilies. I like a few lilies, I did. Right, I'll leave matey in peace, I'll get on the road. But about that, and, and the tower cup and cap, thank you. I bet that's a, should we? I don't want to, no, I can't be doing anything with elephants, so no. Let's get to my next destination. I made it. I am at the Golden Triangle. It's quite something. Wicked looking elephant, so we are going in. Wicked. I've come more or less to the end. I've seen this thing. <laughs> I just parked up there. Ah oh man, so I figured I would walk around here. Wow! Trying to avoid those ladies. I think they're taking pictures the other way. Oh, there's another great podium there. It's wicked. I think this is the Mekon. The Mekon. That must be Miramar across there. Must be. All these boats. I think that's where you take a slow boat trip, I'm not sure. Oh man, this is the Golden Triangle. Miramar, Burma, Thailand and Laos. That great big golden whatever. And all along the riverside there, I saw loads of little restaurants and eateries, so I will be having something to eat before I venture on. Wow. It's so bright, the reflection is massive. 
Okay. I'll have a little wander around. I like the full collection of Buddhas. <laughs> Are they? No, they're not. They're all just tin. All just tin and painted. Oh, maybe we walk around. Wow. That's cool. Well, it is a cool place. I don't know. She's going up the steps, so am I. Oh man. As we look back along there. Ah, oh, wicked. I'll go and get some of them pictures there. That wicked elephant is awesome. And that's a small river to the left. I'm not sure the name of it, but I'm sure this is the Mekon on the right. The mighty Mekon. Wicked. Wicked. Oh man, cool, cool spot. Right, let's have a little walk about. And then I've got a few museums to go in, I think. A few little places to have a little look at. It is a cool place. Like I say, it's a big long loop that if I were, to be honest, I'd like to do it in proper clothing and spend about three days and just stop off a day or two at one or two places, you know. Like May Soy is worth staying for a couple of days, I reckon. Oh man, wicked, got big Buddha, big Chinese Buddha. Oh man. They've got a full collection of Buddhas, they ain't missed any out. <laughs> oh man. Cool spot. I have, they've got every Buddha, everyone. <laughs> that was connected with the Golden Triangle, which was mainly opium. The funny thing is, this should really be another, it should be Jesus in there with regards to the uh, golden triangle. Most definitely should be there, perhaps mostly prolific. Because it weren't, it was not East Asia that brought opium to the world. No, it was not. It was another race of people. Yes. <laughs> The haughty torty the high, high society, the queen, and all the, what would you, what would you call them? The establishment of England. Yes, we, we produced the opium, we did. <laughs> and we basically, all the Aristotle of England used to sit about taking opium. They did, the queen. All them people, that's why all the teeth went bad and they used to make all the skin all really white because they were getting really bad skin because they're sitting about out of the fucking nuts on opium. All the posh people, oh, bloody the art, those people. Well, what happened? You obviously know that England did a little bit of exploring back in the day and when it discovered China, <laughs> China had tea, right? And the English, like tea they did still do today as the china still like opium anyway what they've done right the china the, the english said oh mate we like that tea of yours that's all right that is we could do with a bit of that we ain't got none tell you what we'll do we'll take all that tea off your hands all the tea in china and we'll give you our opium the chinese they tried a bit of opium well, fucking hell, a cup of tea or a bit of opium. I mean, what are you going to take? Initially, you just have the opium then. That's a good deal. So the Chinese took all the opium. And I'm sure you know the saying, all the tea in China. There's wicked little boats all up there, look. Little shanty town. And it is all that shanty town. You can look over uh, along all the restaurants on the top of the road there. And it is, it's really nicely developed. Loads of restaurants there and loads of tut shops. Probably guy, I've got a guy angle, guy angle triangle uh, t shirts. So that's what happened, man. That's what happened. And the Chinese got a bit of a problem. They grow everywhere. 
I mean, talking about the Chinese, look, that's Chinese production right over there in Miramar. All the rock that's being destroyed over there in Burma, right? That's really outrageous because, oh, not, but yes, the, the, the people of Burma and Miramar, they believe their ancestors live in the rocks in the mountains. So where they're allowing the rocks to be all taken away, that's, that's you know, selling your ancestry soul for a bit of Chinese development. And that so you then had the hundred year war didn't you <laughs> the chinese lost they did they wanted they didn't want their opium anymore they got us you can imagine after a couple of years teeth were falling out and all that thing you know what I fucking love a cup of tea so they wanted the tea bag <laughs> no we said fuck off deal's a deal <laughs> So China, they did, they had a war, didn't they? A few other countries teamed up with the UK and we went and beat the Chinese. And they gave us Hong Kong for a hundred years or something. That was the deal. It was a good deal as well. It's a shame we had to give it back. But there was no choice. That was when Margaret Thatcher was in power and if she didn't give it back, they would have probably wiped England off the map at that stage and that time we would have done we, we, we would a wicked pi picture of Buddha that is awesome against the sky it is oh man so that is a golden triangle hang on And that is opium explained. So now you know. Right, we'll take a few photographs around here, then I'll um I'll see if I can get some lunch. Ha! Ah. Now I'll have to go back to my point. You know where I pointed the river? The river to the right, that's Lao on the right, and the bit of land in between is Miramar, and the bit on the left is Thailand, I just saw it on this map, look. Um, that's going there, look, that's the river. That's the Great Yemekon. Uh, that's the Rock River, and like I say, you've got Miramar right there. And that is Lao that I'm looking at, right there. That's stripping all that rocks away to build. I mean, Lao is owned by Thailand, uh, by China, I can see that. Uh, and I know that I've took the wrong route this morning. I should have gone and done the other one and some more stay along, I think. But from here, you can get a boat. It's ready, Cap. Where, where did your boat go to Miramar, Burma? Yeah. Uh, oh, just on the river. 30 minutes? Oh, and how much? Just me, just one person. 500 baht. 500 baht, okay. Okay, kapung cab, thank you. Kapum. Are you busy? Do you have many people go? Who now? Who now? I'll, I'll think about it. Kapum. Kapung cab. So you can, you, you can't go on the land, but you can go on a boat trip around uh, looking at Lao and Burma and all that. So I guess that's pretty good. You've got more tut shops there. Sweaty cap, do you sell opium? You have opium for sale? You have? Can buy. There's opium. Oh man, look, look, here's, this is what the attraction is. I thought there was something else, but now these two dogs, they might go for it, they might. There's a big attraction here, look, you, you, you the two owners? Okay, are, are, they, are they gonna make, oh, or are they gonna fight? Is, is this a love match made in heaven or hell? No, I don't know about that. Is, is this the Thailand Rimmer? Is, is, is this dog called Rimmer? There's some strange... <laughs> Go on, they're all having a bit of a rim. Okay. <laughs> Kapoom. Kapoom. Dog, dog relationships. Sweaty cat, you got any opium, darling? You sell opium? Have opium? No? I'll ask this lady, she looks like she might have a bit of gear. You all love? 
what he care. You you have opium? Opium? You have? Opium. Okay, H how much for opium? How much for opium? You have? Have opium? Yeah. You have opium? Nidnoy? Opium? Oh, no. Don't have? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh man, I come all the way here to get a bit of opium, golden triangle, back in museums, institutions. There's no one selling it. Oh man, fuck. I just guess I'll let it go home and have a cup of tea. Yes, I think I'm funny. I do. I do. I do. I've got to have a laugh, you know. I've got to have a laugh. That's better. You got all that in. Is that a better picture? Oh no! Too quick. <laughs> well, it's cool. We'll have another look, and then we will we'll go, so you can climb right up there and have a picture like you've been on top of the elephants, on top of the world. So that is it. The golden triangle where you cannot buy any opium. I have been drawn to the sound of an angle grinder man. I have been drawn to the sound of a jackhammer man. Also a few ladies and gents with some chisels and some hammers. I have. Look, they're building a temple. One of them white ones. And I'm having a little bit of a handicraft day here. It's workshop. Oh, so they're just chapping away. Oh man. You see what they're making, the little stencils. Out of gold. Body cap. Oh, it's really cool, man. Are you good? It's, it's okay if I come in? You're in the army? Good, good. Oh man, and look. That's what those guys are making. It's like a proper workshop. And he's like tap and hammer, look. With this little tap and hammer. A lump of wood. And I'm making this stuff. And then they're putting it on here, look. Yeah, for something that they're gonna carry for a celebration. Oh man. <laughs> Swaddy cap. Swaddy cap. And here comes the main man with a barra. Man with a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Oh man, it is bright. We're going in. Jack Hammer's at work, look. Doing a bit of restoration work, I reckon. Wow. Look at them in the sun. That's superb. Sticking out some concrete. Wow. That is in encrusted with mirrors. I know the noise is bad, guys, but... You know what? <laughs> okay, Scott, oh, here he is. Here is the main attraction. Oh, man. This guy, look here. He's cutting lengths of bamboo or cane, right? Small sections. These ladies, she's shimming them down, look. Swoody cab. Kapum, kapum cab. How cool. I know it's noisy, guys. You have to part with it. Shimming down, look, they're all doing a little bit of work making these little strings to put together in making what they're going on. But I made the dragons, they look awesome. There's loads of painting to be done, but man, it is just wicked. And there he is. Angle Grind of Maine. He can angle grind anytime you can, because he's the angle grinder man. He'll angle grind anything that any other man can, because he is the angle grinder man. Yeah. Top man. <laughs> it is awesome. It is so bright. But if you come to the Golden Triangle, see if you can pop in. I will photograph the name of this what on the way out. So it's probably going to be worth a visit. I don't know if they're putting a drainage system in or what they're doing. What? But here is this guy again. 
Fifth eye, look, I know they're a bit sloppy with their paint when you get close up. Oh, I know they are, but that's just how things are. That is wicked. There's no point showing the other side because it will not have the sun on it. But it is. <laughs> of all the mirrors, it's just blinding. Look. Blinding. Angle grinder man. Right, I'll put you on hold, I'll take some pictures and then I'll go and get something to eat. Hey, okay, cheers. Mm. Mm. As I welcome you to today's, well, unhappy ending, isn't it? I think I am to blame, so I'm very sorry, Germany. Unhappy ending, Germany. Gone. <laughs> Out of the cup. Brazil. I mean, come on, Germany were disappointing. Brazil, wow. Shocking, mm, disappointing, not quite expected. Gone, Brazil, and finally, extremely disappointing. Fucking England, gone, out. All three teams I gave the kiss of death to. And not even Lucky Buddha could bring them the luck they needed. So, those three shirts, by the way, are this mum's free prize draw. <laughs> yeah, all free. They're, they're all good. They're large, extra big large, and you've got three pairs of shorts. So, I will be sending them. I will put all the names of my Patreons into the hat, a different hat this time, and I'll be making the draw on... At New Year's Eve. I know it's a bit of um, a bit of a way, but to, today is the 10th, and the time you see this vlog, it'll probably be the 16th or 17th. So, anybody who wants to win them free shirts and the free pairs of shorts, uh, if you become a patron, there will be a link in the description of my Patreon account where there's lots more vlogs on there, and I will be taking some vlogs off. My, my YouTube channel and other stuff and they will be going on the Patreon plus anything outside my vlogging will, will be on the Patreon's account um, you know so that's it so cheers guys I appreciate you staying to the end for well you know it was a happy ending to my day it really is sun is out I'm now gonna have some dinner and then sit in the sun with a big fat bifter and that's me. So cheers. Thanks for watching. And until next time. Oh. Oh. Wow.